Hey guys, No Gas Nico here. Looks like I'm coming to the end of my Nissan Leaf battery failure series. Uh, Nissan has informed me that they're not replacing the batteries in these cars anymore. So my grand plan of buying a car and getting a new upgraded battery under warranty uh, has been squashed by Nissan. Uh, Nissan basically said, if you want a new battery, it's going to be over a year before you see one. And uh, if you're new to this, and this is the first video you're watching this series, go back and watch and you see the struggles I've had with this car in cold weather. It does not do very well. Um, it, it falls out for cells over discharge. I have a bunch of bad modules in this battery pack. They replaced one module, made it worse. Blah, blah, blah. You can go back and watch all that stuff and see that this car is basically unusable in the winter. So Nissan offered to send me a buyback offer. So we agreed. They sent me an email requiring a bunch of documentation. Now, what is that documentation? What did they ask for? Well, they wanted the original purchase contract. Uh, they wanted to any expenses I had with maintenance, towing, anything that had to do with in relation to the high voltage battery. So I did have one outstanding tow bill that I uh, the Nissan dealership here from the local one where I bought the car stiffed me on, said they'd reimburse me, never did. So I included that. Um, they also asked for current registration and uh, history of payments, a payoff letter from your bank if you have a loan. They asked for all this information so they can come up with a calculation and make you an offer. So I went ahead, got all the paperwork together, submitted it. Got the buyback offer yesterday, and when it's all said and done, I ended up making a little bit more. They offered me a little bit more than what I paid for the car. Not a lot. I believe it was less than two thousand uh, dollars, but I they did offer me more than what I paid for the car to buy it back. It didn't take me long to consider. I looked at the Kelly Blue Book value for this car, and the offer is almost three times more than what the car is worth today. It's taking all that into consideration, knowing the limitations of this car, the chattable plug, uh, lack of thermal management on the battery, rapid gate where you can't do more than one or two fast charges in a day. All these things are weighing on my mind of do I really want to keep this car and, or do we go ahead and take the offer, take the buyback, get rid of the car, and then maybe buy another EV that is more suited for our needs. Uh, right now we have three Nissan Leafs, uh, one without any fast charge. This one with a 63% state of health battery. So in the last 14 months, it lost 8% of its battery capacity. Um, at this rate, the car is going to die within a few years. And so the, the battery is gonna be completely useless. I don't have a choice. I, I unusable in the winter. I'm in Michigan. Uh, we're at the uh, close to end of August. It's supposed to get in the 90s the next few days, which is good for this car because it'll work just fine. Air conditioner blows ice cold. Everything on this car is beautiful. It's almost like it's brand new. Uh, the only problem is the high voltage battery. Uh, kind of sad seeing it go, but uh, they made me an offer I can't refuse. So we signed the paperwork, sent it back yesterday, accepted their offer. I don't know what's next. Uh, I know they want to do a vehicle inspection. So we're going to probably have to take it somewhere, get the vehicle inspected, which that's fine. There's absolutely nothing wrong with the vehicle. I actually had the front and rear bumpers repainted because there was some damage to them originally when I bought the car. So I had took it in, had some of the gouges filled in and had them painted. It looks like it's brand new. So uh, it's unfortunate. But that's where we're at. So Nissan's not replacing these. I did a video a while back saying how to buy a used EV. And I was kind of highlighting the fact that you can buy these cars with a decaying battery and then go ahead and get a new battery under warranty, which would be bigger, should have been. Uh, but I guess that video is now outdated because you, you can't do that. You can't get it accomplished, at least not in a timely manner. It's going to take you over a year, maybe two years before they replace the battery. And do you really want to limp along with 
a car that faults out or maybe not get you where you got to go uh, maybe one day it won't accept a charge it, there's too many variables uh, another thing to weigh on okay let's say i did want it to wait a year or over a year for this battery they're offering me almost three times market value for this car if i was the total of the car the insurance company is going to give me market value so i would run the risk of losing three times the market value of this car and you're talking thousands of dollars i could end up losing if i get unfortunate accident where it totals the car out which nowadays doesn't take much to total a car out. so with that said we accepted the offer i don't know the next steps i'm gonna wait till i hear from uh Nissan Consumer Affairs, uh, I'm sure they're going to contact me, tell me where to take the car, maybe schedule an appointment to get it inspected. And they said that when they take possession of it, when they uh, when I surrender the vehicle, they're going to hand me a check. And that's it. So hopefully that's as simple as it goes, but we're going to, uh, I'm going to update with another part to this and kind of tell you how the process is and when it's going to be surrendered surrendered and how easy this whole buyback process is so i know there's a lot of people that are going through this right now that have batteries that meet a warranty criteria uh, my suggestion is go ahead and start the buyback offer process you do not have to accept it just because you start to process and get an offer you are not obligated to accept the offer you have to sign a piece of paper and send it back if you don't sign the paper send it back then I guess you continue to wait for a battery. Now, for me, it's not worth the wait. Uh, so we did the buyback. Uh, again, let me know what you think. Are you going through it? Um, put your comments in. Uh, I'd like to talk to you about it. Uh, if you have any questions about my experience so far, I'm glad to share them with you. You can put, the, put them in the comments because somebody might have a similar question and maybe are afraid to ask or don't think to comment. It, I'll go ahead and answer all questions in the comments about this entire process and my experience to date. And we'll go from there. And I'll do another update. That way you guys can see where this is going. Um, so when I get contacted by Consumer Affairs again, I'm gonna go ahead and do another video and let you know, you know what's going on, what are the next steps, up until I surrender the video and maybe we'll do a surrendering video where I videotape the actual, you know, giving the car up. Wow. All right, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. If you're going through this, the best of luck to you. If you have any questions for me, drop them in the comments. I'll be glad to help as much as I can, as much as I know I will share. Um, and who knows? Let me know your experience too. Maybe you've already done the buyback. Let me know how it went for you. I would like to know because uh, I'm right in the middle of it. So, all right, thanks for watching. Take care, God bless, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to get your updates. All right, see you soon.